Hi, I'm Ozzy Jurok. I am the host of OzBuzz, and today I have the great pleasure to have with us uh, Tony Neumeyer, who is the author of uh, How to Think Yourself Rich in a book called The Seven Minute Millionaire. I'm really excited to find all that out. Welcome, Tony. Oh, thanks, Ozzy. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here and uh, speak to your audience. Well, it's kind of interesting. You know, I'm certainly a believer that you can create uh, your own future best self, you know, if you get on the right journey. But I like particularly in the first chapter where you say the mind is a muscle, and like all muscles, it must be stretched and exercised. Well, yeah, absolutely true, and uh, I believe that. Uh, you know, obviously it's a, it's a bit of a paraphrase or, or whatever, but to me it is about uh, exercising the brain, changing your life through your actions. And uh, you know, one of the things people forget sometimes is we are where we are today, uh, whether it's through a success or a failure, based on all of our past decisions. And you know, when, when people realize that, sometimes it becomes a little disheartening. However, there's a really a silver lining to that uh, statement, and that is that you can change the direction of your right. life starting today with a decision right. today. I mean, five years ago we were different than we are today, and five years from now we'll be different, but maybe today we can decide who we're going to be five years from now by using some of the principles you talk about. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely true. Because, I mean, let's face it, uh, the mythology that you're using and describing in the book uh, is to do seven minutes a day of creating a new habit of some sort. Absolutely, yes. And it, it's a very simple process, actually. I'm, I. I call them PPMs or personal programming right. messages. And uh, what I do is I help people, first off, they, they need to decide on what it is they want to create in their life and then go about uh, breaking it down into the smallest bite-sized forms and then creating these PPMs. And, uh, and then what I do is I, I, and I've coached people on this, literally many hundreds and thousands of people, not hundreds of thousands, but uh, yeah. thousands of people. Yeah. And um, they, when they record this in their own voice and listen to it twice a day, first thing when they get up in the morning, last thing before they go to bed at night, uh, the changes uh, that happen happen rapidly and can be very, very uh, life changing. And uh, it's, it's quite shocking because what you're doing is you're aligning the conscious and the subconscious mind because uh, oftentimes they're, they're at odds with each other. Uh, and when I say that, you know, some people think I'm being really uh, a little bit too airy fairy or yeah. a little too esoteric, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the reality is, is that when you align the conscious thought. Okay. So, so um, you know, when you have a conscious thought, the question then becomes, let, let's say I want, let's say your thought is, I want to make $100,000 a year. So uh, if, the, if that is an objective, what actions are your, is your sub, or are your subconscious taking to actually manifest that for you? Because what happens is we are constantly being, um, receiving input, you know, random, randomly each and every day. And, uh, and some of it is good and some of it's not so good. You know, and that, that might be from your work, from your friends, from your family, from your spouse, from uh, the media. It could be a, a variety of sources. And okay. you know, most people don't take control of that input that's going into their subconscious mind. And this is really the point, is when you start to actually uh, program the subconscious and take control of that messaging, it, uh, it, can, it really is a very powerful uh, uh, methodology to, to move yourself forward, you know, in incremental steps, step by step, each and every day. Yeah, I think that, that, by the way, is so important. I know Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Go Rich, a book that I bought for 65 cents in another century, but he makes the point that we have a subconscious mind and we have a conscious mind. The subconscious mind simply does what you tell it, but we don't tell it. And you're saying you have to at least twice a day tell them preferably in your own voice exactly the kind of future that you want it to help it create. Right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I think that is so important because um, we only learn in two ways. One is impact. You know, you're fired. Oh, I, I learned that. That was crystal clear. <laughs> or constant spaced repetition of a quality message, right? Yes. Uh, and so whether it doesn't matter what motivational books you study, 
no matter who you listen to that, that is out there that talks to you, it is absolutely important that you do something on a regular basis. And that's why I like your book, because it's simple. Mm-hmm. Nobody cannot say, oh, well, I don't have time to do it, or I don't have the know-how to do it. Right. We all want to have a better self, a yeah. better life, but there's some work involved. Yeah, and you know, but it, it, it doesn't have to be onerous, and that's the thing. It, you know, when I say seven minutes a day, I mean, really, you're talking about three and a half minutes in the morning and three and a half minutes <laughs> at night. Yeah. So, you know, the, it, it, and, you know, okay, so mine was probably a little bit more. It was more like five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night. But still, you know, it, it's, you, it depends on the message that you want to give to yourself and uh, the degree of um, uh, clarity that you want to give it. And, and really, that's an important point, is to... Uh, have that message be 100% crystal clear so that your subconscious mind and your conscious mind know what it is that you're going to uh, want to accomplish. And I, when I say break it down, I, I'm really talking about creating tac, uh, task-based uh, 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 pro, um, PPMs. Because right. when you know specifically what you're supposed to do each and every day you know, to move you toward your goal, it makes doing so much, much easier. Sure, and it's also believable. I like what you also say in the first chapter, who's in charge anyway, right? <laughs> is it you or is it you? Right? Exactly, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and we are in charge, and it goes back to what I you know, started off with, which is we can make the decision today to change our life starting today, you know, and that's really about being in charge. Well, and that's so hard. Sometimes people, we are in a rut. It's like you say, Aunt Harry and Uncle Harriet put the ideas in our head 20 years ago, and that's what we work on. It's it's we look at life not with our eyes, we look through our eyes based on that pre-programming. Well, mm-hmm. if there was pre-programming thinking negative thoughts or the government is at fault or always somebody else is at fault, well, maybe we can, and I know we can by after you're reading your book, is that we can make a change in terms of creating our thinking and creating our expectations of my future best self. Right? And, in fact, creating your life. I mean, exactly. even, even really taking it to the next step because you can create the life that you want, and I've seen it time and time and time again. Well, I think you used the principles to move from a humble beginning to uh, doing quite well. Yeah, absolutely true. I mean, I, I went through a uh, very difficult um, time in my life where I, you know, I, I actually was uh, part and parcel of a real estate collapse back in my early 20s that uh, put me in a place of being a million and a half dollars in debt and uh, with <laughs> That's no... That's the, the wrong way to go. The, the wrong way to go. Well, well the, the question really should be like, who in the right mind was lending, uh, lending a 20-something year old a million and a half dollars? Right. Uh, you know, the, the, but that's a whole <laughs> different discussion. <laughs> but, but really, uh, you know, when everything was said and done, I owed all this money and it really devastated me um, uh, financially, yes, but more so emotionally. I mean, sure. it, it was it, because my mom had always taught us to pay our bills and, uh, and you know, pay off our credit cards, pay our bills every month. I mean, she actually owned a collection agency. So, <laughs> so uh, she, <laughs> she was, you know, it was one of those things where I felt really guilty yeah. that I wasn't able to pay these bills. And so it took me a few years to get my mind on, uh, and head on straight. Um, and I mean, there was a time actually where I didn't know whether I should pay the rent or, or buy food, but I paid the rent because I just couldn't be homeless. But, um, you know, I went to, uh, I, I started to study more. I got actually reread Think and Grow Rich. It yeah. was one of the starting yeah. points. Uh, and, uh, it, but that was after a couple of years of really sort of wallowing in some, you know, I don't know, I don't know if it was self pity, yeah. but, yeah, but it was certainly yeah, a yeah. difficult time. And, uh, you know, I, I got to the point where I thought, okay, I've got to do something, you know, different because, you know, I've always thought of myself, I've got to be successful. And uh, so then I got together with and created uh, or became part of a mastermind group. Right. And that was a group of us. Uh, I'd gotten back into selling real estate. And uh, there's a group of us, all sort of like minded guys that, uh, and girls that wanted to get ahead. Sure. And, uh, and so we all worked together and helped each other from a, you know, I guess a, a support standpoint, being just a, a support group, if you will, and sure. tossing out ideas on how people can get ahead. And, you know, that mastermind experience was my first ever mastermind and was really a life-changing one that uh, really made a lot of difference to me uh, moving forward and, and does today, too. It's amazing what can happen if you put uh, five or six people together and then everybody can, it's free to talk, right? And yes. Then 
and then you look at a problem and maybe somebody else has a different solution or you look at an opportunity and somebody else has a, a different solution it's so true that you know you make it's the one and one isn't two the one on one becomes three and the three and three become ten like it really is a is a big help to have a mastermind yeah absolutely well I, I know that you believe in in your book and certainly the principles in it and um, so that book is available if, if somebody wants to go uh, to Amazon is it yes yeah. it's available on Amazon in yeah. print version and Kindle yeah so that's by the way the, the way to go right everything li everybody listens to everything <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> absolutely well the the uh, you took the the wisdom of the book and uh, and that's what you also have sort of a teaching a facility where you um, you know create a, a method for people to go into their own uh, future best selves through being uh, online with yes. you or uh, in, in well, a it, well, I, well actually going back to the mastermind concept uh, we use that concept and uh, in sort of a group setting what I do is I help take people that are uh, we'll call them employee employees and take them to the entrepreneurs and part of that the initial phase of that is actually a mindset because you know you being um, an entrepreneur is just a different mindset than being an employee I mean, working for somebody right. and of course there's nothing wrong with working for somebody if that's your uh, what you want to do there are some great jobs and you know people enjoy them and that's great but there are a lot of people that want to move from that uh, place of working for someone else to working for themselves and I like to say what I do is I really take people from being an employee to uh, the entrepreneur mindset then also having what I call the Wi-Fi lifestyle <laughs> and then and then helping them create perpetual wealth yeah well that's and that I really uh, is the future right I mean we always uh, have all these this pat sayings where we say well if I don't work on my plan, I'm working towards somebody else's plan. Yes. And that would be the employee, right, that mm -hmm. yeah. works for somebody else's plan. You've got to work your own plan. But sometimes we are in a lot of debt. Does your system help you get out of debt? Well, that's one of the uh, focuses for sure, because uh, you can't create perpetual wealth without getting out of debt. And let me, let me actually start by giving you sort of the two definitions. Yeah, because absolutely. Uh, the definition of the Wi-Fi lifestyle uh, is being able to do what you want, when you want, where you want, with whom you want, without the usual monetary constraints. So if you think about it, you can just pretty much do, you know, work when you want, where you want. Now, for an employee wanting to transition to entrepreneur, the nice thing about this is I show people how they can start off part-time, uh, even while working, and create, them, create a business for themselves, and then transition to it on a full-time basis. And then from there, perpetual wealth is increasing your cash flow, growing your net worth consistently, continuously, and most important, passively. And the cornerstone to this uh, are uh, income producing assets. Typically right. for most people, it's going to be uh, residential real estate will be the cornerstone to the perpetual wealth portfolio. But it doesn't have to be, there are other options, but typically that's the way most people will go. And uh, so, you can, you can have the Wi-Fi lifestyle without having perpetual wealth. And I suppose you could have perpetual wealth without the Wi-Fi lifestyle, but why would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole idea is that sometimes it just seems gets, you've got to think in a different dimension, right? We, we in, a, in a rut and we somehow yes. can't get out. Yeah, no, absolutely true. And, and so, you know, when taking people from this uh, place of, uh, and changing the mindset first off, helping them make sure that they're out of debt or getting out of debt, uh, give, giving them the, the new skills that they need to become this entrepreneur and have this uh, potentially online business is typically the way we go. And, uh, and then from there, I always show them how to uh, become an authority in their field. Protect, you know, some people have a particular niche that they want to be uh, creating a business in, and we show them, or I show them how to become an authority in that field, uh, at least a perceived authority initially, if they're not already a real authority. And uh, uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot to do that. Um, and then from there, we show them the next step on how to, how to build a team to run their business so that they really can have the Wi-Fi lifestyle as well. So it's really a, a new skill, a new skill Absolutely. set. 
you know, that if I haven't had an online business, I have to learn some new things. It's just, Ozzy, to be clear, I want people to know that um, these skills are not technical skills per se. I mean, sure, you can learn how to create a website if that's what you want to do, but that's not the focus. I, I want, uh, yeah. That's not where, where the, uh, the money is made and being able to do that sort of thing. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the other skills that are involved in uh, being an entrepreneur and having an online business and, and helping other people. And I've always said, you know, that one of the things is our paycheck is strictly a reflection of the number of people that we help either directly or indirectly. And so really from the, from the mindset that I'm, I'm coming from is I'm helping people help other people. And that's really the point. And, and I think then you have a purpose that is greater than yourself and that will always drive you towards going that extra mile, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you, you say also that you want to gain authority. What does that mean? Well, you know, what, when somebody is venturing into the realm of um, uh, the online world, let, let's just say somebody wants to uh, create a, a business online around knitting uh, and they want to become known as the greatest knitting instructor ever. Well, what we do is we have strategies to show them or to show the world really why this person is the greatest knitting instructor like if you want to learn, learn knitting, you go to this person, right. period, right. you know? Yeah. And, and, and it's, there's sort of a formula to do that, and it's similar no matter what genre you're in, you know, whether it be knitting or, or teaching piano or teaching, yeah. you know, sure. whatever, you know? Uh, so, but the key is that we have this formula to get your name out there in right. front of the enough people and understand that you don't need the whole world. No. You, you know, this is, the internet's a big place. And the world is a big place, and that's the nice thing is when you get online, you can be international almost overnight. But in your genre, you want to lift your head above the crowd, and that's what you teach. You Absolutely. Know, why should I deal with you rather than Joe Schmo? Exactly. So, so you build a team, right, of, of online people or yeah, the virtual people, people typically. Yeah. Uh, you know, w and that could be somebody that, uh, for example, well, talking about the websites, I said earlier, it's not you don't have to be technical. Maybe you've got somebody that you know, builds your uh, simple websites for you, or your landing pages for you. We've got someone, and these aren't expensive people necessarily. Uh, they can be you know, different levels for different, uh, different jobs. Sure. And uh, then we've got somebody else that handles your Facebook ads, for example. We may have someone else that uh, does your video editing. You know, though that when I say that, that's what I'm referring to in terms of building the team that's gonna support you so you don't have to do it all yourself. Yeah, because somebody might go and I say, I want to blow my brains out and spend five grand on Facebook when really all you have to do is spend maybe $30 to reach the 6,000 people in your area on the age group of 40 to 60 or something. Right. I mean, if you don't know that, then you just waste a lot of money, right? And I don't, I've wasted a lot of money <laughs> myself. So <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I'm able yeah. to tell people the yeah. way not to do it as well. Yeah. It's funny, we do conferences and we used to always spend a lot of money advertising. And then, for instance, you go to um, to uh, Craigslist or Kijiji. Well, on Kijiji, you can run an ad, and like on Twitter, that ad disappears. Well, it's only twenty dollars a week to have it be on top. Right? I mean, hmm. oh, it was twenty. Maybe by now it's thirty. But the right. point is, it's not expensive to position yourself in a better way in a certain genre. So that's where your expertise comes in, particularly if you made a mistake, because we learn from from seeing what is what is out there and what you shouldn't do. Yes. So now you say the two lifestyles of the Wi-Fi lifestyle and the perpetual wealth lifestyle. So perpetual wealth is simply you sit back and raise money. Or well, <laughs> once you've built your portfolio, yeah. that's partially true. But let's let me give you an example, and and you know this very well because it's it's right in line with your teaching. But let's just say, and and the number isn't important because you know somebody some people for them five thousand dollars a month is. Is, right. is what they want, and other people it might be fifty thousand dollars a month. Right. But let me just use the number of ten thousand dollars sure. to, to make it easy. Um, so let's just say that uh, through our discussions and through uh, what I do with people, um, they decide they want to make ten thousand dollars a month. So now our objective, in terms of creating your perpetual wealth, I've got I call I've got three numbers. I've got my LCF number which is my lifestyle cash flow number. That's mm -hmm. that $10,000 a month. So that's $10,000 a month clear. So that means that, okay, if my objective is uh, 10,000, I need 
properties, let's say, uh, that equal are going to give me that ten thousand dollars a month. So I need ten ten properties at a thousand dollars a month sure. net rent. Right. So once you've got those in place, now the focus is to pay off those mortgages because the objective is to have that cash flow free and clear. And uh, and the sooner that we can do that, we do that through the online business, the more money we can make on in your online business, the faster we can get you to the point of having a full-on perpetual lifestyle. So because, uh, and, and you know this as well, but um, when I say increasing cash flow, of course with inflation, the rents yeah. will increase. And so you're, you have an inflation protected asset uh, in terms of then, then your net worth continuously grows as well. And, this, and then once you have it in place, it pretty much is, is a somewhat, and if you've got a, a manager running your properties for you, it's somewhat passive, it's pretty passive. There'll always be the There's tenant always, from hell, and sure. maybe it's even the manager from hell, but <laughs> yeah. uh, that's part of understanding though that, yes, it's a cash flow business, but it still is a business. So Absolutely. you have to have proper property management and all that goes with it. But I think that's why you need an environment where other people have done it, maybe that online teaching that you do has a group already, mm -hmm. or certainly you're the focal point, you can say, look, this is what you look out for, this is where you get to research, say, property managers, or research right. the locals and so on. There's some some uh, tricks to the trade on any trade. It doesn't just have to be real estate. There's other cash flow opportunities as well. Yeah, I mean, I, there's a friend of mine. In fact, uh, one of the things he likes, he, he doesn't buy residential real estate. He buys cell phone towers. <laughs> and and so, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. But yeah. so he, he has a number of different cell phone towers and I guess he has to maintain them, whatever, but it's he, once they're up and running, with the exception of a bit of maintenance, yeah. they're just providing cash each and every month uh, yeah. to him. And so he likes, the, he likes those. Well, he would, but, but that's the point. It's yourself. You yes. have to find out what, what makes you tick. Maybe it isn't real estate. For myself, I have real estate engraved on my forehead, right? right. So, yes. But it, it did help me you know, grow out of a very, very humble beginning into where I have that. What do you call it? The LCF? LCF, <laughs> Lifestyle Cash Flow. The other two numbers are um, your, um, uh, sorry, ah, darn, let's see, <laughs> what is it? This is, you got your CNP number, but you've, before that one you've got your vault money, VM, sorry. You have to edit that out. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, um, so your second number is your vault money, or I call your VM number. Now, your vault money is the money that you put away, and I typically say most people should have six months of their expenses in a in an account that is untouchable. Now, I used to call this emergency fund money, but. Uh, people would all of a sudden make up all sorts of emergencies, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, oh, TV, the, the, the TV broke down, or yeah. you know, I got yeah. a flat tire, or yeah. you know, I, gee, I need a holiday, yeah. you know. Uh, so I call it vault money, and and when I say that, it's locked away in the vault so that uh, they just don't touch it. And I really uh, coach people on maintaining that money. Now, once they have their um, perpetual portfolio paid off, like if it were real estate, for example they do have an option to uh, use that vault money. Uh, if they, but they have to get to that point of having full on cash flow that is, uh, meets all of their needs uh, down the road. And then the, what next, the other number is your CNP number, which is your comfort and pride number. And you know, different people have different levels of comfort and there's cash flow and then there's uh, th there's your asset base, you know. There's your net worth, and the C and P really refers to your net worth. Like, what uh, number do you need to feel comfortable, mm -hmm. absolutely set, and be proud of it? Yeah. Right, and that's what I mean by that. Your comfort and pride number. Well, and that makes it very clear. I remember my old mentor always told me, "When you have nothing, have a fifty-dollar bill in your pocket. You just feel better, but don't yeah. spend it. It's, right. That would be vault money. You just, yes. you know, it's there. It makes you feel good, and then maybe you can change that to a hundred dollars and later down the road. Or, but yes, it's so important that we understand that we are our own future, uh, walking and dreaming and sleeping and breathing, and particularly with the help of your book and certainly your online teaching, it's much easier. So what do people do when, if they want to get uh, involved with, uh, uh, with, uh, with yourself uh, online? What do they do? Well, I think the best thing to do is, is go to the website, Perpetual 
wealthreport.com. Uh, put, it, put their name in there and download a copy of the report. Uh, there's contact information there that they can get in touch with me and I can give them the details on coaching if that were of interest to them uh, and we can you know talk about all of that. But uh, I think it starts with just getting that um, report and, uh, and getting a better idea. Getting a better idea of what it is we're doing. Well, you're certainly you're based uh, mostly in Vancouver or Phoenix, or so yeah, I, I'm I'm here in Vancouver and uh, and Scottsdale most of the time. Um, and but you know, having the Wi-Fi lifestyle, right? You, I can coach from anywhere. So they could be anywhere. They, they can be anywhere, and that's yeah. that's the whole point. Is that you're preaching. Uh, um, I mean, you're doing what you're preaching, and I want to make it clear that people know that you used your exact mythologies to earn millions of dollars, really coming out of a, of a very tough period of time. And that's true. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So and so, obviously, it's always nice to have somebody that has gone down a dark alley, because so many of us have had a bad experience and think, "Oh, this is we're stuck here," and then somebody like you comes along and sort of lifts the fog and use some relatively simple but still work <laughs> involved yes. uh, methods to move myself into my future best self. So I'm really very happy that you took the time and um, I, I think that uh, we talked about it a lot but I think the 7 Minute Millionaire will help all of the listeners create whatever it is that you're after. So thank you very much uh, Tony. Well thank you Ozzy, appreciate the opportunity.